NKU men's basketball fell to North Florida 74-66 on Thursday at the Bank of Kentucky Center, moving to 2-2 two two in A-Sun play. The Norse and Ospreys traded buckets in the early going, but both teams would later struggle in the first half. With only seconds left in the half, Jordan Jackson was able to pull NKU within six of the North Florida 33-27 lead with a buzzer-beating bucket heading into the break. In the second half, the Norse got off to a good start with buckets from Chad Jackson and Tyler White. Despite battling all the way, the Norse were not able to overcome the North Florida lead. Three Norse landed in double-digit scoring with Chad Jackson leading the way with a double-double, notching 26 points and 12 rebounds. For whatever reason, we were a very quiet team tonight, especially on defense. And we, we were trying to figure it out and brought them in the timeouts and, and them pushing every button we could to try to get them going. And for whatever reason, we just couldn't seem to get out of our own way. And then um, even though we weren't playing well, we made that run the second half. We usually do it home. And then uh, uh, again, a uh, play here, a big shot by them there, a missed block out, a, a bad bounce, whatever it was, and we were just unable to catch them. I just think Coach, Coach made it pretty aware in, in the past week. Um, you know, we played a great game against Upstate, and we had a good uh, opportunity to come in here and play against uh, North Florida, who was, I think, their tie for first in the league. They haven't lost a game, so it was a huge game for us. Um, and I just wanted to come out, be aggressive, try to help my team as much as I could. So, NKU returns to action Saturday on the home court to take on a Sun foe Jacksonville with tip-off set for 1 p.m. The game will be carried live on ESPN3 with links to live stats available through nkunorse.com. And as always, you can get live in-game updates by following NKU Norse Game Day on Twitter. For NKU Athletics, I'm Brad Pope.